guys, we got a ton to do in today's video. We started off here in America. I don't know where we're going, what we're doing. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. The Aston Martin Vanquish. We have to return the vanquish. I know, trust me. If you're upset, imagine how I feel. Uh, sorry, it's early in the morning, the voice squeaked there. Anyways, that won't happen again. The Vanquish is a little bit out of my budget at 145 grand because I'm still searching for that elusive and exclusive V12 Lambo, but, but, I could still buy the V12 Lamborghini, assuming I can ever find one, which I can't. I sell the R8 and I buy a manual Aston Martin DBS. I know, right? If you live in Salt Lake City County, I'm sorry, I know it's early, but it's a V12. I gotta let her sing. <laughs> also should warm up the tires. We're in sport mode. This acceleration is for the new Ferrari dealer. <laughs> the Vanquish sounds really good at the low RPMs. I like this car a lot. This is a cool car. It is an absolutely perfect, perfect day in the beautiful state of Utah. We're flying to Dubai tonight and uh, well, I'm not really sure I want to leave. Check this out. So I'm not really allowed to be up here, but at the same time, I had to get some photos for the gram. We only have a couple reps, so. Low RPMs, the car sounds really good. Once you get past 4,000, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Listen. Sounds good. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. I don't know how I feel. What's up, man? I like it. Huh? It's a cool car. Yeah? It's cool. I like it a lot. Check out this 458. They just got this in. This interior, it's like Dubai spec, kind of fitting for where we're headed later this evening. They have the 575. This 570S is nearly an identical spec car. It's got the track pack. The only difference, it has red calipers instead of McLaren orange. We got the lime green Gallardo, the SLS AMG, and this is a cold startup on a stock Audi R8 V8. Ooh, and this is a straight pipe so bad. I did some research on DBSs. They're trading from like 85,000 to 120. This manual right here, 118,999. That'd be a sick daily. That being said, I've never actually driven a DB9 or a DBS. Now for this to all function, the V12 Lambo has to happen in 2018 for tax reasons. The DBS would have to be in 2019 for tax reasons, of course, naturally tax. I'm an accountant, what do you expect? I'm an accountant. Every decision is for tax reasons. That's right, baby. The Baby Mac mods are back. Check out the color on that A7, satin blue. Looking sharp. It is an absolutely perfect day in the beautiful state of Utah. That snow up there, boys. The donut vlog, it's coming to a vlog near you. And when I say near you, I mean soon. Soon, this color looks so good. Jeez. All right, welcome here to Mix and Models. Ooh, well nice. The Baby Mac, Ty, you're already getting us prepped and ready to roll. So guys, enjoy the view of this hood because in a matter of moments, it's gonna be carbon fiber. So step one is to remove, obviously, factory hood. So we gotta remove all the hardware. We're gonna transfer this to the carbon fiber hood. I haven't shown you guys the carbon fiber hood yet because I want you to like stick around for a little bit longer. Uh, when you see it, you're gonna be, I haven't even seen it, so I say that, but anyways. That's so easy, it's like four bolts. That's Eight. it. Eight. Eight bolts. That looks so good. That is sick. Dude, boys, we are making upgrades today. <laughs> Look at that. No way. The carbon fiber hood is going on the 570S. Here we go for the first time. I promise you carbon fiber, are you kidding me? That looks so, so good. So it's got the P1 style ducts right there. They're non-functional, but the carbon fiber looks amazing. We're gonna get a cold startup on a 2017 McLaren 570S. Headphone, I probably should actually back up a little bit. It's pretty loud. The moment of truth, just look at that carbon fiber. 
you're listening under the Utah sun. What? Dude, this car looks insane. No way. This car just keeps getting better and better and better. Think back to when I picked this up in August. Fast forward to the 15th of October, this car looks killer and we're still not quite done with it. If you wanna win this car in December, be sure to check out the supercarmafia.com. There's a link in the description below. Every $5 spent gives you one entry into the giveaway. We got all sorts of shirts, we got hats, we added lanyards, and we just added new posters. Go check it out because when December comes, you're gonna want this car. My goodness gracious. So we're gonna go get some lunch right now because, well, that's what we do. Also, if you're not following us on Instagram, go check us out. Oh, no! No, where are the keys? Ooh, she sounds good. Check mode, check mode, active. Now we're rolling. Oh, no, no! The focus just jumped the line! <laughs> the tires are cold, that was 55. Actually, it was probably like 35. Okay, so lunch. I thought that Aston Martin was fast, and now we're in a Baby Mac with a carbon fiber hood. I can feel the weight we've lost off the front end. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. And on that bombshell, we're here at Cantina. Just look at that carbon fiber, though. I mean, we did lose weight. I don't know how much. It doesn't really matter because it looks amazing, but I need some tacos. I don't know how to say this once again, and lunch was amazing, but I, I didn't film any of it, so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Next time, maybe, probably not. I cannot get over this carbon fiber 1016 Industries hood. It just makes the car look so much more aggressive. Like I've been saying since day one, this is gonna be the sickest 570 you guys have ever, ever seen. So we're leaving the car here at Make Some Models while I'm in Dubai, because there are some very, very exciting surprises coming to a vlog near you. So enjoy this view of the carbon fiber hood because when you see it next, well, anyways, on that bombshell. It's 3.37 p.m. My flight is at 11.54 p.m. tonight at Salt Lake International Airport. So enjoy that view, Girth Nation, because I gotta pack. The technique looks super technical, but it's actually super easy. We're gonna get super, super close. We're good, now we're rolling. The 570 is coming together so well. It looks so much better than I could have ever imagined. The carbon fiber, boys, the carbon. So when I get back from Dubai, we're wrapping the car. You guys voted on the supercarmafia.com. You voted for your favorite wrap choice. That's why we're wrapping the car. Now, if you didn't vote, if you didn't see the renders, I guess it's gonna be a surprise. So I get back from Dubai next Tuesday. We're wrapping the car on Wednesday, and then the car's gonna be at SEMA, October 30th to November 2nd. I keep saying that, it's just so cool because this car is going to be world famous and it's going to be one of your guys' cars. So it's 4.30, we got seven hours. For the first time on the channel, we're featuring the Outback. Check this baby out. 06. 06. 180,000 miles. Oh, nice, nice. Stories and experiences. This is a cold startup on a Subaru Outback. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Nick's bag is being inspected, so... I don't know if he's going to Dubai or not. It might not happen for him. They confiscate your neck pillow? No, <laughs> I hid that. They didn't find okay, it. Okay, good, good. We're definitely not flying United today. We're flying JetBlue. Here we go, boys. We're headed off to Dubai. It's a four-hour flight to JFK, six-hour layover there, and then a 12-hour flight to Dubai. I have an aisle seat. Nick has a middle seat. So yeah, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. It's a little chilly. Not funny. For some reason, I was assuming the seats would be blue on JetBlue, but they're not. They're the discount middle seats. The they're the discount seats. That's all I could afford. Oh, dude. I'm hooking him up. I'm hooking him up. This is what I do, guys. I hook up the man who fired me two years ago. I give him the aisle seat, and I'm stuck in the no middle. Idea. There's an outside chance that no one's gonna sit here, though. So, like, if that happens, I got two seats. We've got the most legroom in coach, and I don't doubt. Your knees are still hitting the seat, but I got room on room. I just found out there's free Wi-Fi on the plane. I'll see you in four hours. Okay, bye. Two hours later. Two hours later. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. JetBlue Airways would like to be the first to welcome you to New York, where the local time is 5.36 a.m. 
Nick is embarrassed of me vlogging here at JFK right now. Are you kidding me? So it's 3.50 a.m. Utah time, so if the rest of the vlog gets incoherent, uh, yeah, sorry, to be expected. What's up, everybody? Oh. Major fatigue is setting in, guys. We're here at John F. Kennedy Airport. We board our flight to Dubai in five minutes. We've been up for 39 hours straight. We're out here, we're hustling, we're trucking, but I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if Nick's gonna make it. Things aren't going well for him, so in the comments below. I don't really have anything to say. It's 12 hours to Dubai. Uh, I've been up for about 29 straight hours. Oh. That's uh, kind of an exaggeration, 25 hours, but 29 kind of sounded better. So anyways, yeah, here we go. Real gold, real gold. I'm out here in a middle seat once again. I don't know how this keeps happening. Nick has an exit seat. He spent $135 on this exit seat. The best $135 he's ever spent. Check this out. He's got leg room from here all the way to that wall. He's got wood trimming on the window. Yeah. Look how comfortable this man is. Do you, sitting uh, in luxury. You got oh one no. Today's video is effectively over. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.